Still you can't be fed What is up guys, Son of Beast here. Another playoff time it is, mate, as Miami Heat take it on against Philadelphia 76ers. For as I'm noticing right now, Philadelphia takes the lead with 1-0 over Miami Heat. But Jimmy Butler's team's got to have to pick up the pace a little bit more. Finding some mercy to get back into the game. But maybe there might be too many problems to go out from, from Jimmy Butler or Joel Embiid. I don't know anything about what happened here, but this is going to be a very toughest uh, sport. Now, this was happened in round two since I did it back in season two. Without any questions, I just definitely did a lot, a bunch of a bunch of a 76er against the Heat as best as I can. But I really got into a, a little bit of too much of our work to do to get to get everything done for my camera to get things fixed up and make sure they have a lot more uh, more space left but it might be a very tough spot if I can do it again all over again but anyway game two at yeah, Wells Fargo Arena let's find that out what is happening Wells Fargo Center winning tips now it's time to go over the most common play that's the most common play in our game, and that's the high And let me tell you guys, this is what everybody has been looking at through if you guys are like playing basketball. NBA 2K20. Everything is happening in here. First, let's get started with the hard hedge. Plays bumper and icon is the definitely thing about preferring to call for the screens that I definitely use. Yes, I remember what it is, and that's all I figure it out. Back to his assignment. The next one is do a not need, edge. Do not Very need to be greedy. To I just edge, really think I've got this. Against... Anyway, let's take a look at Wells Fargo Center. And it looks like we're ready to go. Bustling Philadelphia on I-95. A gorgeous night for basketball. Welcome to the city of brotherly love. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. DA taking away. DA, update. Sixers coach Brett Brown helped build this team from ground zero. There were some lean years in Philly, but Brown helped set the values and the culture for this team. Brown said, can you teach? Can you cultivate relationships? And do you bring energy? Those three qualities are what I've hoped to create throughout my tenure here. Kevin, mission accomplished. Brett Brown it is, part of the uh, head coach for the Sixers. Thanks for the accomplishment, David. Let's take a quick look at Bam Adebayo. When you think about what Bam Adebayo has for a lot of rebounds, you got to think about this one. This is seven point, he has a 7.3 average of rebounds back in 2019 for 2020. That game, it will never be, uh, it will never be like this before. Here are the starting lineups, and the key matchup will be Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, and Adebayo. And then it's Ben Simmons with, against none. But it's all everything's lined up here. We're seeing something straight out of our mind. And Eric Spolstra and Brett Brown are still looking underway to find out what is happening right now in Game 2. Let's find out who wins the tip-off here. As the Sixers have red jersey out here and, and, uh, and Miami Heat only had white jersey. So the Sixers wins the tip-off, and we start now. Here's Tobias Harris. He's guarded by, by Jimmy Butler. The old man on him, Tobias Harris. But there are teams, as we've always said, still watching you. And so don't ever get away from the idea of the company. Here's uh, Heck Richardson. First shots is off the line since he can't make it. And they are assessing None right around him. We're just in guarding him tight. When, when things are not going well. Okay. This might be almost a jump ball. The heat will rebound, and it's off the place. Richardson takes the rebound. And Simmons looking all over Motorola. Merely, it didn't work. Robinson finishes off the layup. This happened on February 3rd after a loss against Miami in the regular season. This was happened before when, when too many jump shots were definitely called out. And this was because the second rival team that definitely did bring out too much effortless by the carry. 
My many say this might be an only tough, tough look if the Heat are going to ever win or not. Joel and B missing out. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, they'll try to put that one back. Butler coming in with a spin around, attacking the rim. And the best, Joel and Bayer. Yeah, all the fans really hate Butler that much. They did not like the other team. And on the bio takes the number two. And so here is Phil. Five nineteen left. That Simmons still has an average to put up his board. Yeah, a cold stretch off. Harris back to Simmons. Double man guarding. And Simmons gets Richardson for three. That basket for Richardson is good. That's the first bucket of three for Richardson. And it's his first basket of the night. Didn't see where we left off the point, but it didn't count it off. But uh, for for Anabayo, we're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Just about five minutes to go here. Four to freeze your score. None against Simmons. Butler outside, covered by Harris. Butler shooting him out wide. No, and outside on the wing. Five to shoot. Gonna have to take one. And Simmons grabs the rebound. It's first. That's it. It's first rebound. Horford passed to Embiid. He's rolling it off to Harris. Harris, screen on Embiid. Shot from away. And there's a two for Simmons, his first basket of the night. I think Simmons is doing really well trying to keep it up, trying to keep it low enough, as straight as possible. But maybe it won't be enough to get there. Great D by Al Horford as Jimmy Butler's shot went off. Simmons passes to Harris. Harris passes to Richardson. Fade away shot, no good. Harris grabs his rebound. Simmons, go to I none. 343 left. Five to force your score. Second chance shot. Around him, but it went off. Robinson grabs a second rebound. On the left is none. Here's none. Here's none. Horford with the rebound. Horford with the rebound and great solid D work here for Embiid. Oh, what a what a bam this is for Joel Embiid. Looking really comfortable trying to start from the first quarter before the end. That's two points for Embiid, and it looks like they are having a tough time to find to, to face against Embiid, the big man. Here's Kendrick Lenard after they had a loss against Charlotte and Hornets. And Butler takes the first two. Picking up the assist, trying to keep him moving. 250 left. Simmons feeling it out. Simmons feeling a little bit punched over. The shot's off. Robinson's going. Robinson has picked up his first personal foul. The first two seasons of his career, Greg, with a broken bone in his foot. Would injuries be your main concern for Joel and me? Concerns? Look, no doubt about it. As long as he's healthy, he's an all league performer. Still, seven footers carry a lot of weight in our league. He wants to prove he can play big minutes. They just got to make sure they protect him. Good shot. A lot of protection going on here, but it might be a lot of choice to get it done. Joel B shooting two. First one. First one falls in. But we hear this all the time. Good here are some, here are some changes for Miami uh, and the Sixers. I don't know how. As on a bio was checked out, Olenek, Crowder, Iguodala, Hero, and Tragic are checked John back, not checked not in. Horford, Harris, Richardson, and Simmons are best best checked out. Burks, Bible, Corkbaz, and Mike Scott history of the are checked in. Around the Houston Rockets and what the Golden State Warriors have been able to do. And B delivers two free throws. Defensively, to be and they are and they are leading by three. Every coach will say it comes down to defense because that is something you can control. Now you know about that. Good thing. He's been a reliable scorer for him. Here's Hero. If only a reliable score wasn't able to help him out. But Iguodala, they might be looking for something else that is happening. 
Olenek was off the line to make, she, to make the three with the match, but it went off. The Embiid right from the right from outside. Embiid bouncing past the Mike Scott. Cork Miles for three. This offensive rebound for Embiid. Under six minutes, uh, under two minutes to go. Here's Cork Boss. Four seconds to go. Burks. That one goes out of bounds. Sixer ball. Last touch by Crowder. Here's a look at the way Eastern Conference standing. Philadelphia takes a win uh, with 39. And right now, they're, they're trying to catch them up to go by 40. But for Butler's team, Miami Heat trying to pull up again. Late in the season. Well, those people. Kermaz, back to Burks, 5 0. Here's a shot. It's another rebound. What a shot by MB. Six points for uh, Embiid, and only got four rebounds. Drogic against Burks. Here's a shot for Drogic. That's five rebounds for Embiid, and one for a team left. And there are the fans chanting, let go Sixers go. Fievel outside, over Hero. That shot went off target. Now they're going the other way. Tragic against Burks. Tragic trying to put it in, and the reach of foul will go on MB. 45.3 seconds, and Joel Embiid is checked out. And making a change here. is checked out. Leonard's checked in. And same thing. Oh wait, five ball. And Cork Miles are both checked out. Milton and Robinson the third are checked back in. Or checked in first. Didn't see that one screen coming around. Here's Hero. No good on the three point range. Philadelphia leading by five. And B passing to Burks. Burks finds Milton. Around Hero. Rebounded by MB. And there it goes! That's seven rebounds for Embiid at eight points. He might be on a shrieking. Finding his way to go down by Embiid the butler. Ten seconds to go. Drajic finding a way to look for an open spot. With a shot. The uh, layup goes in. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. 13 to 18 is your score. Sixers are pulling out a, uh, a starting point before before reaching the end of the quarter. We'll be right back at the Wells Fargo Center after this message. It would never occur to me that I'd be shooting threes at this rate and doing some of the things that I'm doing. But um, it's just the way that the game has evolved. And give Horford credit. He had just well, give some Oh Horford as some respectful moments, and with his uh, without his shooting free ability, he might have to be a little bit uh, consuming to himself to be uh, to earn his credit. While well, making him uh, a little bit, uh, Tragic with the with the layup too as he finishes up across. Well, pounding the boards is one way to gain an advantage. They simply owned the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control. Scott rolling it in. First shot off as Burks grabs his first rebound. Then there's Alec Burks, and it's Milton. Scott the two guard spot. passes to Milton. Around Hero, and uses the glass board to convert his first two of the fight of the night. Sixers lead by five. Following up with the layup shot for uh, Milton. And here's Dragic. Now here's Dragic. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. No, after after game two, then it will be game three as Philadelphia Sixers are at Miami. Here's the All Star teams, but he remains single minded in pursuit of his bigger goal. Butler said, I just want to win a championship. That's all that matters. I didn't do it in high school, I didn't do it in college. I don't do it here, and I'll go to the 50 and over league someday. But I gotta win a championship at some stage. Kevin? I like that attitude. Thank you, Dean. What an attitude for today is, David. Thank you. 
Heat trailing by seven, following up the score by Milton with the layup. Hero trying to look for something. Hero shot went way off target, almost coming up to a three second violation. Burks comes in. Leonard stays on cover. Milton for three. Drops it in. And from outside, assists by. Assists by Burks. Great shot. Great shot approach for, uh, for uh, Milton. Looking really well here. Hero against Milton. Outside is Leonard. Five minutes to play. Find Silva. Whoa, assist by Silva. And Crowder shot first came in. Timeout called by Sixers. A lot of defensive rotation. They're going to have to be keeping it rotating, going all over the place here. That's what the first one should be. And they're going to have to be mating. They're going to have to make a couple switches. Here are some new changes for the 76ers as Tobias Harris has come back out. What a run he's been on. I, know, I love that run. Giving him a lot of time uh, with an opportunity to show him what he's got here. They're looking really hard to keep it from here. I'm showing him what he needs to know about it. But I think Tobias Harris, he did play last season with uh, the Clippers. But when Tobias Harris is thinking about he wants to make his new friends, then he wants to bring something out. So here's Harris. And there is a miss by Harris way down long, but only got two release. Robinson pulling in a lane. Grabbing the rebound. The foul goes on Richardson. His first personal foul. Not even showing up what the defense was really above. They weren't really thinking about what Robinson was going to do. But when Josh Richardson came in, he pulled it away from him. Season. Not even getting a little bit tough already, but Brett Brown needs to get under control about Josh Richardson. The guarding the man in front of you, not behind you. Two shots for Robinson. He knocks down the first. A lot of uh, mistakes coming up here for, uh, well, some mistakes for uh, for the Sixers, but, but a lot of them, he, they better not think about that. Okay. You love nachos. What else? I mean, what else could we go with there? Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Come on, we shoot for ice cream. We scream. Uh, I guess they, I guess uh, Duncan Robinson couldn't hear it. You can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Kurt Moss against Butler. They're rolling around to Richardson. Richardson against Robinson. Richardson in the paint. Layup drive. That's sent over by Silva. Well, Butler's coming in. There's a two wide open look. A defensive end, not even putting up too, too much look. Simmons against Nunn. Outside, Simmons. Summit, Simmons coming in. Richardson outside. Richardson is outside. Screen on Tobias Harris. It's blocked. It's blocked. But recovered by Tobias Harris. Over Adebayo. Over Adebayo. Not a shot that pulls up for, for Adebayo. For leaving him open that time. Oh, taken away by Tobias Harris. Here's a two-on-one look. Horford, back to Harris. 3.20 left, 20 to 16 is your score. That's Harris rolling it over to Korkmaz. That might be the offensive three second violation called and that changes over into Miami ball. He was on a list for Ben Simmons. League leaders are blowing up here, 8.2. It was not enough to get their, get his attention to find his, uh, find his uh, approach. But he needs to have a lot more focus again. Out of bio, back to none, back to Robinson. Robinson to none. Here's none. Big outside is Silva. Butler for three. And told it by Richardson. 
Tobias so Harris, pass. Reverse layup for Ben Simmons. Converts at number two, and that's four for Simmons. 76ers lead by six. Not even like a Sixers lead by six. But it doesn't mean that there's only six and six everywhere. Butler outside. Fans are still disliking the trading team. This is a bio. What a crazy uh, layup he puts. Is the total package. We never so saw that one coming. 218 left. Results. Simmons. Great when you look at the top perimeter defenders in the game. Simmons, Serreras. Does Jimmy Butler rank on that list? Look, he's in the top handful. No doubt about Simmons, it. Simmons outside for three. He is a and he fans it off for two on a three-point line. Heat trailing by six. Trailing by six. Guys, they're looking for a Again, none outside covered by Simmons. Try to keep it on him on the man guard position. Over to Anabayo. Back to Robinson. Just five to shoot. Oh, almost slipped away, but Robinson recovered it. Robinson's got That's six scored. points for Robinson. Two out of three from front field goals and two assists. Simmons dishes, Simmons dishes Horford. off to Horford. Horford, Simmons. back to Simmons. Goes right to Corkmaz. Six, six shoot. Here's Harris. Harris, then the foul going on Silva, his first. And he'll go to the line for two. And the first trip to the free throw line will be Tobias Harris. Uh, what do you think about uh, taking a ball away from him? I thought that was not a bio that was going to be uh, stopping there. But his hands wasn't covered up. So Silva did try his first personal foul. Stop the clock at 118 left. 24 to 20 is your score. And now let's see what Tobias Harris can do. And he, makes the he makes the first free throw. And with Harris, he's removed so many Olenek's guys. checked back in by Adebayo. Chris Silva is checked out. Jones yeah, Jr. Yeah, and Iguodala are checked back in. And, and for the Sixers, Richardson and Corkmaz are checked out. Robinson the third and Fievel are checked back in. Score. Harris, only one free throw, but didn't, ha didn't hesitate to put by the second free throw. Iguodala, way off the mark. That was off again. Harris grabs his third rebound. Only one point. That was like not enough to put it in. Down to, mo down to a minute left. Robinson the third passes the Fiebel. Bounce pass back to Harris. Rolling over. Simmons for three. Downtown off the mark. Simmons did not grab his uh grab a number three pointer. I tried. Here's Iguodala. Jones Jr. with the dunk. Sis by Iguodala. there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. Simmons back in the other way. Outside Simmons. Simmons pass to Harris. Horford rolling over to Fiebel. Harris back out in the other way. Over over Jones Jr. The 76ers can hit another another shot. Iguodala finishes up the layup. Around the bucket, around the rim. Ten seconds left before the first half comes to an end. There's a shot for Simmons, and he has six points. Three seconds, two, one. Buzz beater off the mark, and then we have closed the first half. 27 to 24 is your score. 76 is lead by three. Now let's send you over to David Eldridge on the side of the court. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? I think on the floor, I was supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. Well, it is a unique style, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank All right, thanks, David. Second half is coming up. Don't go anywhere, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after the halftime show. 
second half is about to start. And taking a look for Embiid, he only had eight points. And Robinson only had six points here before the half has continued its way. Ben Simmons looking comfortable here, but uh, but trying his ability, finding where's the pass and a rebound. He only had one rebound and one assist. There might be more coming its way in the second half, but you'll find out. Right now, the second court, second half, it starts right now. All fans are starting to hate on Butler. Harris keeping it covered here. Here's a shot, Embiid on the screen, and he rejects it. Oh, Simmons couldn't just hang on and throw it back on the court. What a tough this is. So Miami Heat will be playing against the Sixers back at home, playing against the uh, Sixers in game three and four. And then back in game five, it will be the Heat away at Philly. Then Horford, here's Horford right now, only one rebound and one assist. Here, but Simmons comes in for the outside, covering by Nunn, the drive, and there's a foul on Nunn. There's a first personal foul here for Nunn, first team foul for Miami. A lot of defendings are contact already, there are definitely a lot more, uh, more plays coming your way, I'm telling you. It's a lot more good to get everything, everything uh, with the game. Two shots coming up for Simmons. That one first falls in. And with his passing and driving ability, Greg, Simmons is like combining a, a power running back in football with a pinpoint passing quarterback. Uh, not much he can't do. Kevin, a football metaphor is appropriate. Simmons grew up playing Australian rules football, and the physicality and quick thinking of that sport really reflected in his style of play. And this summer, a five-year, $170 million max contract extension for Ben Simmons. The Sixers didn't want to give Richard him Val going on Josh Richardson, elsewhere. his second. A great talent, but the hope with that kind of money is that he'll develop that jump shot. None coming in. What a shot for none, and they're pulling it back up. 6 10 left. Philadelphia leading by three. Simmons trying to pick up a man here. Simmons, Storford. Screen on Embiid. Horford in the post. Adebayo on, the, on Embiid. His shot. Count that one in. That's 10 points for Embiid. It's a great move, and he catches the... 5.45 left. Done against Simmons. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot. Here's a screen on Adebayo. We have a foul on Simmons, his first personal foul. Their second team foul for Philadelphia. Now, how done will shoot two. But MB would have, uh, would have just concentrated on the man, not leave him all alone. Because he's got this. Ben Simmons should not be uh, guarding what the position is. Might be too soon to look for it. Take a break. Two shots. Two shots for none. Let's go, Philly. Make it loud. First free throw is good. The first free throw is good for none. That means nothing already when you spell none. It's N U N N. That means it's really because of like it's none, nothing above. None is what you, is the uh, homophone square. Mm, none to reduce the shot for the second free throw. Simmons passes to Horford. Horford to Richardson. Over Butler, and Butler calls his first personal foul as fans gather up to cheer it on. For like Philadelphia shooting two. Looking for contact as well. And yes, that's right. Uh, Jimmy Butler grabs his first personal foul in the second half. That'll be the first team foul for Miami Heat. 520 left. Eric Spolstra is trying to trying to concentrate what the players are still up to. But they never got a chance to put their feet back on. 
Richardson, shooting two. His first shot falls in. Josh Richardson continuing to some new changes for Miami. Jones Jr., Butler, Robinson, and Dunn are checked out. Leonard Crowder, Hero, and Dragic are checked in. And then it's Harris and Horford checked out. Scott and Milton check back in. He took his time and drops it both. Dragic with it. Dragic with the ball. He only had four points earlier on in the first half. But the three. They put, Miami putting up another rebound here. Says Anabayo is grabbing it. Anabayo unable to connect with the number two. Here are some rebounds. Only 21 for the Sixers. But 17 for, the, for Miami. He got a little bit worse. Simmons, Scott, rolling over to Richardson. Four on the clock. Here's a shot, and Adebayo taken away by MB. Hero coming in. Passes back to Adebayo, back to Dragic. Around screen for Leonard, didn't show it up. What a block by Scott, but out of bounds will call it by Miami. As that's the last touch for Joel and B. Simmons and Richardson are still switching it up. Richardson comes in the point guard position as Burks is checked in. Oh, what a start! What a surprise movement for Anafayo to make that dunk. Perfect spot in the paint. Looking back uncomfortable for MB to try to stop him. That wasn't the only man that was covered in. That was really the worst thing that could ever happen. Four minutes gone by. Five to shoot. Richardson. Drains it from the two point range. Something sapped them of their Something energy. what we would Police like to use and call it is just the only shot that we could ever make. Running, hustling, running, hustling everything. So you know, all shots were confirmative to play back in. Dragic against Richardson. Outside Dragic. Dragic finds Hero. Hero passes to Crowder. Feeling it out a lot more than than uh, Ben Eagles. The Carroll, I'm sorry. Crowder missing the shot. Sixers are coming back in to pick up another rebound. It's off the ball. Hero has it back. Now let's go to the sideline. Let's go to the for David Aldrich. Oh, and a block by Embiid. Last season, the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. Now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. That will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do with the fast break. You're right, David. Well, we got a quick pass here from Crowder, and on the bio, we get a layup. Down the timeout's called by Philly Sixers. They are talking things over, trying to pick up one, one of each man to cover the guard on without getting in the way. And here are some new changes here for the Sixers and Miami. Robinson and Ferd is coming back in. Without the scores are being drawn out for the Miami Heat. They're pulling it up in first place with 38.4. A couple of players are still trying to figure it out, what everybody is looking for. But this might not be the only one that was ever happened again. 5-0, passes to Robinson the third. Miami trailing by four. Passes to Embiid. Here's a drive. Great D for Leonard as it comes back in the other way. Reaching fouls going on Korkmaz, his first. And the foul called on Korkmaz. That is his first foul of the game. Under 2.30 left. Dragic outside, Olenek trying to cover by Embiid. Iguodala outside, covered by Burks. Moves the screen out of the way. 
Pass to Leonard. Shoot. Over Cork Moss. And MB will grab 11 rebounds. MB pass to Fibo. Screen on MB. Fibo shot. Good. There's 154 left 1.52 left here to play in the third quarter. MB making some good changes here, but not picking up some assists around. Dragic coming in. Great D for MB, and that's 12 rebounds for MB. Wow. Do I think about MB? He looks fantastic. So Bible only gets two points. Pass to Burks on the outside. And the Pass to Korkmaz. The three outside. No good, no good that time as Korkmaz never got a chance to handle the three back in. Crowder against Lop Robinson the third. He's a, good contributor to a lot of contributing the ball. And Bean grabs it away. And Bean with it. And it's Iguodala picking him up. Around Dragic. And then a foul is going to go on Olenek. The free throw line. That will be his first personal foul. That game got enough ability. Alec Burks trying to figure it out and saying, quote, many teams really hate me, but they grossly disrespect the guards about being taunted to the other players. That's not what I come here to do. This is the game that I come in, and it's, and it's all about a teammate. You can't just taunt the team by, by saying, that, quote, that wasn't polite. And if you say that, this will be out of your mind. Here are some changes for Philadelphia and Miami. Crowder is checked out. Butler, Nunn, and Jones Jr. checks back in. And for Sixers, Embiid checked out. Al Horford checked in. And then it's Harris. And then it's Neto. It's not that though. And he's good on the second. He's good on the second free throw for Alex Burke. And here are the Heat now. Under one minute left. Second Here's done. Screen on Jones Jr. Done. There's a block by Fibo. What amazing day this happens. Only 27 rebounds for Sixers, but Miami unable to connect with just 15. Burks pass to Horford. Over around Leonard. Rebounded by Burks. Horford grabs one again. Moving around is, is Harris. Second chance shot. Second chance. Uh, blocked by Olenek. That's his first uh, first steal block. I'm sorry, the block. It's not the steal. That's what I'm just saying. Iguodala missing out again. Burks, come up. Five seconds to go. And that will do for the first quarter. 38 to 31 is your score. The Sixers are leading by seven. With a nice uh, game effort ability, some couple mans are heading its way up to game three. We're just finding out what we are looking for. Stay tuned for the final quarter. Here are some quick passes by Assist of the Game, presented by State Farm. Watching from uh, from the outside range, only Milton never had a chance to get make a shot ability. But when Alex Burks seems like he, that Milton hasn't gotten a chance here, by his by his first name, his name was Shake, and then his last name was Milton. Maybe this one comes out by his dessert meal that he really likes, but uh, but that's not supposed to happen. It's really different, but, but you never got a chance to see what is happening around you. And if you think that Shake Milton was the only coming with dessert milkshake, I don't think it might happen. The fourth quarter is starting right now, and it took too much time for Harris to look around as it comes up to a free second violation on offense. Equidal is checked out. And Robinson is checked in. And Miami has position. Miami has a position. Trailing by seven. Dunn against Simmons. Rolling right around it. Robinson to Butler. Fans still booing. His shot. That last touch by Harris went out of bounds. 
Almost took me down the almost took me down the rejection. I'll go for it. I switched off into point forward and Joel MP checked in. Back on the court. Never had to try it. Never had to try it again, but it did. Butler missing the missing the two and they went off target. Simmons. The drive's good! Two-pointer for Simmons! Amazing out play for Simmons, and it looks like they are pulling it back into its place. 12 points for Simmons, now here's nine. 6.05 left to play. Fourth quarter get, just started already. Robinson against Bible. The time for the ball. Oh, almost, but the, but the last touch went on Embiid. Philadelphia making some changes here. Kelly Olynyk checked out. Adebayo's checked back in. And for and for the Sixers, only five balls checked out, and Richardson will come back in for the starting five. The pass to none. Pass to none. The shoot. Four to shoot. Shot for none. It's grabbed by Embiid. 14 rebounds. What a way to perform the rebounds. Zero points for the Heat since the score came up to 409 per minute. Harris finds Embiid. Al Horford. Al Horford almost took it away by uh, Silva. Jones Jr., I'm sorry. Horford making a uh, fadeaway shot and he put it up by two points. The start. And that's his first bucket of the night. Nine Here's against nine. Simmons. Simmons trying to keep it protected. A floater. The dry floater. Sixer ball. And that's the pass incompletion for nine. Eric Spolstra seemed to try to get off, off his ability. Need to get back in. And help out another passing skills. Five oh five left. And Simmons passes to Horford. Horford passes to Simmons, and the foul will go on Adebayo. That's first personal foul. And Ben Simmons will go to the line to shoot two. Well, Brown, a little bit of, a little bit focus on Ben Simmons. How hard he did, but he worked a lot. Really good trying to keep it up above the game. Under five minutes, 42 to 31. Ben Simmons will take the two. This is the second trip to the free throw line. Out of bounds, seemed to get it a little bit out in the press. Should have had it. And the first one at the line is good. Simmons for the line for one. One free throw made it. Get to the line. They're converting. Yes, they are converting here, Greg Anthony. A lot of players still have enough line, giving them their self time before not thinking, but shooting it. Simmons delivers two free throws, and, it, and he has 14 points. Here is the difference between Miami and Philly at free throws. I don't think that we don't have any any of our resources for uh, by each player that was happened here. And then Butler counting back in. They are pulling it back away from him. He goes updated. 36 for uh, the Heat and 40 for the Philadelphia. Simmons, Orford, bounce pass to Harris. Holding a ball. Oh, almost went a traveling. Richardson, drive, and there's a foul going on on the bio. This second personal foul. Stop the clock at 4.17. On the bio seemed to get up uncomfortable. He's not blind already. Jeez. Forgetful coaches? I don't have any. No, can't. Well, I, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, if you're leading by 35 points late in the game... Eric Spolstra, and, and trying to lead the man back the into, it, so into its own lineup. With regards to They're not working it really well. they got to, like, keep it going. Richardson will take this second free throw. Uh, early on in the second season, trip to the free throw. Coach wants to start and play with certain guys as the season goes on. First shot for Josh Richardson. It's handled it in. Thinking about his uh, same hair color, hairstyle, just like Alan Iverson has, he might be really, really, really nice to take a look at it. 
But I don't think he might have any cupboard about about Allen Iverson and Josh Richardson. I think Joe Allen B has a lot of good had a lot of good reasons since he first started drafting in 2014. Here's none. Here's none. Passed by Robinson. 403. Screen on the bio. The shot's off. And it's out of bio with the shot. Timeout call by the Sixers. 357 left. We're going to fix up with the defense and, and we're going back with a different look on the offense. Oakland is checked in by MB. And then it's Milton checked in by checked in by Josh Richardson. None checked out as Dragic is come checked back in. And then it's Burks checked in by Simmons. Let's go to David Aldridge. His demeanor was not one of the coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. To see if they were listening. Guys? Thanks, David. There's a drive here for Jimmy Butler as he's got his second bucket of the night. Burks passes to Horford. But the fans for Butler didn't really care about him being traded with the Miami Heat. They really think it's really bad. And here are the chanting, let's go Sixers! O'Quinn! Rebounded by Horford. O'Quinn rolling over right to the right pass by Harris. Now rolling to the left is Milton. Three seconds. O'Quinn making it! Over out of bios, good! That's first two points. First two points for O'Quinn. Heat trailing by 11. Fans did not really think about Jimmy Butler as they're going for defense. Butler rolling on the court, getting in the paint, find out the bio, and it's hold it off by Harris. That's four rebounds for Harris, but only one shot did allow him once. Oquin passes to uh, back to Harris. Screen on Oquin. Oh, not even that time. Oquin back again. Trying again. Harris up. And there's the two for Harris. He's got his first bucket in the second half. And he did manage to make his effort. Under two minutes. That's right, folks. The game is almost about to be ended. Dragic outside. The three's off the mark. The 76ers are going back the other way, and there's five rebounds for Burks. Oh, what a shot for Burks! Jones Jr. picks up his first personal foul. Nice celebration for the Burks with Al Horford. And here are changes for uh, for Philly. Thanks for Oakland for making this first two. Simmons is checked in as Burks changes up to uh, shooting guard. One shot will be Burks. Four points for Burks. 142 left. Tragic. They trail by 16. Will it go? Will it go? No. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. Harris passes to Simmons. 125 left. Now the screen is on Embiid. Joel Embiid off the target. Butler shots off the target as Simmons has picked up his second rebound. One minute left. Simmons, Horford rolling over to Burks. Burks, Simmons, back to Horford. I like his aggressiveness here tonight, especially on the Free for Simmons. The triple won't, won't, won't send him in. 40 seconds left. Dragic finds Butler. Covered by Simmons. Simmons. Butler. Back to Dragic. Butler back to Dragic. That's Thank six points for Dragic. Robinson rolling in. Coming from the paint. 
Damn. Tipped away. Oh, Horford has got the ball. 19 seconds left. Burks coming in. Passes to Simmons. Simmons passes to Horford. Rolling over to Harris. Burks with it. Burks with it. Six to shoot. Now here's Horford. This will be a shot clock violation for uh, for the Heat. Last possession for Miami Heat, and a low slide that comes down to zero. All five players are subbing on the court. All five players, Sixers and the Heat. Oh wait, there's only four out of five. Mm. And it's Philadelphia with the win, 53 to 37. Sixers take two wins in this series, and Embiid only the person never got a chance to stop that look. But that's all I'm just figuring out. What a game this is. As for each guys that played hard, and they are working really well. So that wraps it up for the Sixers and Heat with a rivalry matchup with the second rival team. We'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching this video as we will be back in game three as Sixers are at Miami. And then it will be uh, and then it will be Dallas Mavericks against uh, Utah Jazz after the second game, and then the third game, they will be at Dallas playing against the Mavericks. And now, here's your Jordan player of the game. This was out by Joel Embiid. I don't know about what, what you guys were thinking about, but only two blocks made from here. 14 rebounds, 10 points on for every shot, and 20 minutes on the court. That's guy. That's what you gotta know about jo Joel Embiid. He's working out there really hard, trying his focus, and he's doing it a lot as as, as he can. Anyways, that's to do from here. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's until next time. Peace out, bitches, for as well as a NBA playoff dial. See you in game three.